thing. Yep. I had to check it was recording. There is nothing sweeter that's good for the body than Jesus Christ. You know, there's sweets. There's candy, there's chocolate, there's cake. And I have eight toes because of the sweetness. I can't walk well because of the sweetness of diabetes. But there is a sweeter than sweet. And that sweet is in the name of Jesus. That Jesus Christ you know there are two things that really make me say, wow. One thing is when I see women on TV boxing or fighting, that's not a woman. I don't know what that is. Women were not made to combat each other. They were not made to fight. It's disgusting. Actually, there are three types of women that disgust me. Now that I think about it, bodybuilding women with all those muscles, that's disgusting. That's sickling. To see a woman with all those muscles, and worse, she doesn't know what to do with a frying pan. But the most monstrous, beastly of women is a woman that does not love the Lord Jesus Christ. The silence of the Gospels in many places are where Jesus went and there were women that took care of him. And women that helped with his needs. There was a group of women at the cross of Jesus. And there was a group of women that came to the empty tomb of Jesus. Women, if you want that hero... If you want that man that will die for your love, that man is not smoking a cigarette with alcohol in his hand. That's the man that's the Lord Jesus Christ. And he will come back on a horse and bring his bride with him. Your romantic novels of your knight in shining armor is in the name, is in the man, and the finished work of Jesus Christ. But we had modernized women. Women try to be men. What they don't try to be is godly. And you cannot be godly without knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. running out 
of mothers that are kneeling by their beds that are crying for their wayward children. I come from New London County, Connecticut. And I don't know if you ever heard of the casinos there, Foxwoods. And the sun, almost forgot the name. I've never been there, but I have been told of all the grandmothers that plot there behind on that seat on the one-armed bandits. That's not where grandma needs to be. She needs to be in the kitchen. Oh, preacher, you're old-fashioned. And you're too modern. Because grandma that was in the kitchen was grandma that knew Jesus. And grandma that knew Jesus was in the kitchen. Her daughter was in the kitchen. And she knows Jesus. But we're in a day and an age today that women don't even know where the kitchen is. That's a shame. And what's worst of all, is we are in a day and an age where women don't know Jesus. Now, you may not be able to make a meal, but you ought to know the way to heaven. And you are hearing right now the way to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name above all names is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the gift of God, who is the way, who is the truth, and the light, and the door, and the water of life. I mean, You do not have to die and go to hell. You are foolish to end up in hell. When a preacher has told you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you still die and go to hell, You die and go to hell when you have heard the words, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's like holding a prescription in your hand. That that prescription is going to heal you. That prescription is written, it will heal you. And you say, oh, I'm not going to go to the pharmacy. Why bother? And you stay sick. Why bother? listening to the preacher from the Bible about Jesus. 
and stay stiff. And stay in tr dead in trespasses in your sin. I mean, the odds are 50-50. Either I am telling you the truth, or I'm lying to you. And the answer to that is, what saith the Lord? You know, if you were to believe on Jesus and read and study his word, you would say, wow, I was so foolish. I say that when I read and study the Bible. You know, I have given God more than what I've given him. the great things that could have been done by God and for God. I want to do so many things, but today I'm old and lame. I wish I had that strength. Because there is nothing better than Jesus Christ. There is nothing better than salvation in Jesus. There is nothing better than believing in Jesus. And there is nothing better than obeying God. And there's nothing better than serving our God and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is nothing so vile and so wicked as to not putting your faith and trust in Jesus. That you, as a creation of God, had rejected your God's free salvation of the finished work of Jesus Christ. That there is life in your creation both here on this earth and there can be life for you after you die. God has given us life. And Jesus Christ is offering us eternal life. And he that has the Son has everlasting life. And he that has not the Son shall not see life but the wrath of God abiding upon him. You have been given human life by God. And you will reject the eternal life by God and end up in a place called hell. The wrath of God, your creator. 
That's why they want to teach evolution. You see, man gets better and better and better and better and better and better. What happened to the man that died? Oh, his bones are in a museum. <laughs> well, not all bones go to the museum. Where do they go when they die? Well, they go in the dirt. They go in the ground. And what? Most of us look like good people, man. Who are you working at? Your bones don't just go in the ground. Because man is a body. He's a spirit that belongs to God. And he has eternal soul. And that eternal soul will go to heaven through Jesus Christ alone. Or that eternal soul will go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. It's that plain and simple. Life now is by God and Jesus Christ. Eternal life in heaven is only by God and Jesus Christ. And without God and Jesus Christ, your eternal life will be hell. Whereas God has given you life, and God is offering you life, Now, you had no choice to be born in this world. But you got a choice to go where to go when you die. The Bible is that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Nowhere is it spoken, the church is the way, the truth, and the life. If you think the church is the truth, I'll take you to some churches where there is no truth. I've been in them. I will bring you to a church where out of the pulpit, out of the podium, they lie to you. So the church is not the way, the truth, and the life. Only Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. I am not the way, the truth, and the life. I'm capable of lying. And I have lied. I'm a sinner. I am no better than nobody else because I preach. The same Jesus I preach to you is the same Jesus I have believed. As I tell you to confess your sins before a holy and righteous God, I confess my sins to a holy and righteous God. My name is in the same Lamb's Book of Life. 
by the blood of Jesus Christ that I preach. But I'm a sinner. I am not perfect. But my Savior is. I had the same need of salvation. And Jesus Christ met that need on April 21st, 1987. When I knelt down at a coffee table in my grandma's living room. No, thank you. Have a great day. You too. And I put my faith and trust in Jesus. And I was once a Polish Roman Catholic, but that didn't save me. Jesus saved me. Faith and belief in Jesus. And I am going to heaven when I die or rapture by Jesus Christ alone. And that I yearn for that day. And I'm disappointed every day I wake up and I am not with Jesus. But every day I wake up, my prayer is that something throughout that day will please the Lord. Now you may not be pleased with the preaching of Romans chapter 10. Jesus said the feet of the preacher of the gospel, he loves it. I wish I could walk for Jesus or walk properly. Jesus Christ is able and is willing to save you. When the scriptures say believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Come and believe in Jesus and be saved. Come and know God. And when you know God, you will know God through Jesus. You will not know God through the Pope because there's no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saves. You're not going to get closer to God through Mary. God does not read the watchtower. And the Apostle Paul let every woman have her husband, let every husband have his wife, defiles the Mormonism.
Yeah, I know. David had multiple wives. Solomon had multiple wives. But nowhere did the Bible say God approved of it. As a matter of fact, the law said about the king, he was to have one wife, not multiple wives. So go tell that to your Mormons or your morons with their angel baloney and Donnie and Marie. Because without Jesus Christ, those Mormons are not going to another planet. They'll go to hell. And the Mormons that have put their faith and trust in Jesus will go to heaven. The Catholics that put their faith and trust in Jesus will go to heaven. The Catholics that put their faith in Mary will go to hell. The Catholics that put their faith in the Pope go to hell. There are Jehovah Witnesses that will be in heaven. And you too can go to heaven through faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. We know the song. The Lord is my shepherd. Okay, my question is, is he your shepherd? Oh, I can quote, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Thou... Yeah, but my question is about that psalm. You can quote the psalm. But, is the Lord your shepherd? Jesus said, I am the shepherd of the sheep. How many people can quote, the Lord is my shepherd, but is he your shepherd? Have you put your faith and trust in him? Is he yours? Salvation is of Jesus alone. Nothing else. You know, they did not have a church building in the book of Acts. But there were Christians. Because they were first called Christians at Antioch. And they had no church building. Oh. I think I just heard the Baptist church crack in half. Yeah, the Baptists have a God. It's called their building, and their grass, and their altars, and their pews, and their steeples. But many Baptist churches don't have Jesus. He's standing outside the door knocking in that scripture. Don't think just because that, that pastor, that preacher, that priest, that rabbi, or whoever gets up in a pulpit or podium, he is of God. Paul says he may be of Satan, 2 Corinthians 11. Satan has ministers. You know how you can recognize one Satan minister? When a woman gets up and preach, because the Bible says women should not usurp the authority over man, tell Joyce Myers I said that. Matter of fact, I told Joyce Myers that, and she blocked me from her Twitter, she dropped me from her Facebook, and everybody else that tells her she's wrong in the scriptures. She don't want to hear it. Yes, I preached to Joyce Myers. 
and she turned it off. You cannot disobey the Bible and please God. And the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's so simple. Jesus is the very means to be saved. You will not be happy when you die, when you die without Jesus. You'll be miserable. So for some of you, it won't change. wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And I've been here for six years. You never heard me mention a church name that angers some preachers. You didn't mention our church. I'm not here about the church. Now, if you're saved and you're looking for a church, I will mention a church. If you've never seen me baptized. Because none of you gotten saved to get baptized. So I ain't going to baptize you until you get saved. And I don't have a bucket in front of me for you to throw money. I don't have a pan for money. Though I have been accused of panhandling, there's no pan, there's no bucket like the DJ. And every time she said, thank you, she, did somebody throw money in her bucket? I don't have that. God supplies my needs. Except one. But he'll do that. I have never told you to be good. Because you can't be good. And it's amazing how people will come up to me, well, I'm good, and when they talk more and more with me, they don't get no gooder. They get the worse. And then I say, well, you're not being so good. And that makes it worse. And I say, believe on Jesus because you're not being good. That makes it even worse. Like that one woman, she gets all oh, mad. Just believe on Jesus, and the Holy Spirit will come in you at salvation, and you'll get love, joy, and peace, long-suffering, and patience. God's working on that one with me. I lack patience. There is no other way than the way of the cross. The way home through the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ. There is no other place for a lost man than the place of Calvary. 
Many come to Calvary. And many more walk away lost. And few will come to Calvary and come out of the empty tomb, born again and saved. For broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And straight is the gate that leadeth to life. And the few that go at. You see, well, preacher, I'm going through the mass. And the mass go to hell. And the few go through the gate. You know what's sad? I have been told by missionaries. I have been told by evangelists. I have been told by preachers and Christians that the airport in Salt Lake City, there are thousands of morons coming and going, spreading the moron heresy. And it's sorry that too few saved Christians will go into the world and preach the gospel. Mark 16. When Jesus said, let your light shine, he was talking to Jewish people. You're too white to be Jewish. He told his apostles they're going to go out in the world, in Jerusalem, in Samaria, in the outer parts of the world, go into the world and preach the gospel. He had Gentiles in that group. Luke was a Gentile. He had an African in the group, uh, Simon. And he had Jewish. But ye are the light of the world. He was speaking to the Jews. He was speaking about Jerusalem. And many of you Christians, well, I'm the salt of the earth. You've been trampled upon. With the world. Your salt has lost your Savior. Look around. The church has been unplugged and the power is out. And there's no light. When Jesus Christ stands at the door and knocks, While Satan is in the front row, amen, and the preacher it. That's the lie of the seeing church age. That's the church age we are in today unto the rapture of the church. We'll be quite shocked to find who are in heaven and who aren't in heaven. There'll be people in heaven you never thought that would be there. 
and there will be people missing in heaven. You, you, they would be here, but they're not. And those that you do find in heaven are through Jesus Christ alone. And those that you don't find in heaven, there was something else. But there was no Jesus. Again, you got to be careful because Paul said there's another Jesus. There's plenty. There's plenty of Jesus out there. There are a dime a dozen plus shipping and handling. And you can probably have Amazon deliver them to your house in a box. That's not the Jesus that's going to save you. You got to have the Lord Jesus Christ. There's a big difference. You see, you know what's wrong with the Catholic Jesus? You have Jesus, but they mixed in the church, and they mixed in the mass, they mixed in the Pope, they mixed in Mary, and that defiles it is finished. And the church had added to the salvation, and God says, don't add to my word. Don't subtract to my word. You run all the people away from down here. You run them all away. For no reason. Just run them away. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Right next to you and blast it away. Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. And your name can be written down forever in the Lamb's book of life. In heaven. Through Jesus Christ. You too today can believe on Jesus. And you can be saved. And you can know it. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. That Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. I have believed in Jesus. And you too. Today. Could be the day. Of you being born again. Your spiritual birth. You see we all have a physical birthday. The day we were born. But that does not entitle you to go to heaven. What entitles you to go to heaven is the spiritual birth to be born again of the Spirit of God. The old expression is born once, die twice. You don't want that. Born twice, die once, and if the rapture happens, you won't die. Life and death is in Jesus. And in Jesus Christ the Lord, there is salvation. Salvation is of God. And Jesus Christ is God.
Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. 